All right, and welcome back to our weekly movie review. Today we just got finished watching Harold and Kumar, which I guess per requested uh, actors, uh, notable actors in the movie, Neil Patrick Harris, Ryan Reynolds, and who are the actors for Harold and Kumar? I feel I like they should say, be important. Those guys are more important, right? <laughs> uh, Dude. I only I really know. know them because of Harold and Kumar. They've come out in other movies I, for so, sure. We'll but just say like, we'll just say Kumar. they're Harold and Kumar. That's so how I refer Harold, to them in every one of the movies they come out. That's not Harold and Kumar. Harold is John Cho, and Kumar is Cal Penn. Yeah, oh, I'm you. never gonna remember that. But um, so this is by far a classic. I'm sure all of us have seen this movie before at some point of our lives. Yes. Uh, I hadn't seen it in a long time. Like I, I had completely forgotten how most of the movie was. That's the same, but nobody can forget the. But why? <laughs> the yeah. Meme. I think it's been a while since I watched it. Um, kind of reminds me of scary movie, like the scary movie. It gives me that type of vibe. Um, like it, gave me, it gave me the. I felt like I was watching a Family Guy episode. Like, it was a lot of random humor that didn't really tie in. And it was just, like, skit after skit after skit. And it's like, oh, this is, we're random. And it was like, ooh, 90s, 2000s humor. And, you know, some of it landed and someone was like, I laughed to this? <laughs> so back when I was smaller? I laughed to this. Was funny. <laughs> I, think over, I think overall, and this movie has held up fairly decently to this test of time um i probably enjoyed it uh, about as much or a bit less than when i enjoyed it last time i watched it maybe i don't remember last time i watched it but i had a good time i mean i wasn't like crazy funny because like yeah it's kind of some a lot of it is kind of outdated humor but you know I think it was a good, like, 7 out of 10. I'd say. I would say that, for me, it did not hold up at all. I don't remember if I thought it was funny, but I feel like I thought it was funnier than I did right now. Uh, I also, though, I actually went to go try White Castle, and it's pure garbage. Nick, Nick. And I don't care what anybody else says, but you guys are the first people that have ever said that that place is actually okay. All the people I've ever talked to agreed that White Castle was shit, and this movie look, hyped Nick, it up for no reason. Look, <laughs> look, Nick. I think that commercial. it's completely fair for you to not like White Castle and for you to think it's shitty. I mean, personally, I mean, the joke about White Castle is like they're rat burgers. Like the back in like Jersey, the joke was like, oh, everybody loved them, but they were low key made of like rat meat. But you know, it's obviously not true. <laughs> Um, okay, I, I mean, I just, I just want to say, like, the burgers are okay. Like, they're, they're nothing special. I mean, yeah. you go there because one, they're cheap, and two, you usually go there like late because you're either like drunk because, <laughs> like, because you, yeah, yeah. you, you, you a, equate them to like water burger runs to what we do now. Uh, and you're gonna say that, but yeah, water burger yeah. is not water trash. Is, okay, yeah, water yeah, burger is not trash. Water burger, I'm like level. Whataburger no. up here, White Castle right here, McDonald's. I'm right here. whoa, I'm, you you move I'm, those words too. McDonald's is way well, better than White Castle. I am just saying, I'm equating into the fact that Whataburger is like to, to go spot when you've been drinking, it's late at night, nothing's open, so you go to Whataburger. Whataburger, that, like you go spot. I mean, I'm if not, there was like White Castle and Whataburger, I'd go to Whataburger 100%. Well, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, I would compare, I mean, White yes, Castle to not, Taco Bell, if anything. But that's about it. Yeah, I can well, see that one. Or okay. Jack in the Box, but I don't really go to Jack in the Box. Yeah. So but really while while the Water Burger quality is like significantly better, and that's I'm, a good chunk of that is because we were born and raised from Texas. But mm, and their burgers are literally. I feel like even Californians would agree okay. that they're way Nick, better than White like Castle. No, because <laughs> Californians are going to be like in and out and whatever. Yes, but, but that's anyway. why. But I'm saying compare to White Castle because you're comparing it to White I Castle. I'm saying <laughs> the situation in which you would go to White Castle is the same as Whataburger. I did not say anything about the quality of the meat or the taste. <laughs> now, Nick, 
It's okay for you to not like White Castle and to shit on it because you think it's gross. And a lot of your of friends it think is. it's gross. It's American. But that should not be equated to the quality of this movie. Well, the quality it should, of the movie it's is not, about the it's same not, thing. It's not a correlate. <laughs> well, you, you're making it sound like it's a correlation between the taste and the movie. Well, I never it's said not. that. I literally said... I, I said side no, note. but but what you were saying, what your inference, the way you said it, it made it sound like it was. Hey guys, hey guys, um, we got a we got a movie review to do. Well, no. Hey, if you guys want to do a food review, I'll do a food review. Well, <laughs> I did in fact. If you guys want a food review, <laughs> comment, well, comment. I, I already <laughs> reviewed the movie. I already reviewed the movie. Well, uh, we've Nick been trying to re- we've been trying to re- we've been trying to review the movie, Andy. Before oh, we got really went on, you went you went, you went on a tangent. <laughs> you went off on a tangent. Turn off the mic. So, Stop Ricky, Ricky, you go, you go, because. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, this movie's like I mean, it's a stone. It's a very popular <laughs> stoner, like raunchy movie, like. Like, you don't watch it because, like, it has well-developed characters or a plot. Like, you watch it for the yeah. random humor and, like, the, I guess, the cultural, the pop culture references that it may have. Um, and, like, like it's funny. Like, if you watch it for the very first time, it's pretty funny. Um, does it help? Does it hold up to, like, today? Uh, kind of. I mean, I, I feel like there's so... I think the, like the randomness is still just pretty funny. Like if especially if you haven't seen it in a long time, which I haven't, uh, you're like I don't remember this scene. And you're, you're like, uh, you forget um, that there's almost a sex yeah. scene in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, um, it is definitely a lot more sexual than I remember it being. Um, it was like um, sixty percent like of it was like, hey, you want weed? You want sex? Yeah, that's it's literally weird. the whole movie. The three trifecta. <laughs> Yeah, sex, weed, and uh, food. That's kind of like what they're going for. Um, and so, I mean, I think I think it's pretty funny. Um, I think there are like parts of it. I, I don't know. There's like a lot of like racism humor, uh, like racist humor, well, which 100%, is like it's nineties humor. Basically, uh, I mean, it's even like- today, like when you when you watch movies like Bull Rat, like and like just these types of like raunchy movies, like you'll find this like racist kind of humor. Um, mm-hmm. Which is, I mean, I personally like, like I find it kind of funny because, like, whenever like people make fun of Mexicans, like I find it funny. I agree. It, it, it really depends on how the humor is made out to be. Like, if it's humor, the racist humor with the intent of being like offensive, then it's like, oh, hey, hey, calm down. But if it's humor for like humor's sake, then it's funny, and there there has to be that delineation. And Harold and Kumar is like the funny sake. It's not like trying to be malice. It's yeah, just like point it out and use that as comedy. Like, like that's yeah. I mean, that's. I think that's a good way to describe it. You definitely don't. It's all about like presentation and how it's like done. Um, mm-hmm. And I think like there is no mass intention. I think they're just yeah. They're, like, I think they're just joking just... around. Um, but um, what's it called overall like that was pretty good. Um, would I watch it again? Maybe like again in like ten years, like <laughs> that's <laughs> probably how long it's been since I've seen it. <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking too. <laughs> uh, when you forget about it, <laughs> yeah. Like once I've kind of forgotten, like the uh, like the I guess the scenes and stuff like that. I'll watch it again and like I'll get like a good chuckle out of it every once in a while. Would I recommend it to somebody? Probably not. Uh, mm-hmm. I I'd give it like a five and a half. Like today, if you ask me, like when I first watched it back in the day, I'd probably give it like seven, but uh, I'll probably say like a five and a half. Yeah, I'm kind of on the same boat. Like the movie, I I don't remember when I first watched it, but I I, I feel like I remember it being like this fucking movie's hilarious. And like my twelve year old brain is like, oh my god, the fuck you're riding a cheetah! Oh my god, my goopy goober like goblin brain is, is just it, like oh, is funny. it? Le- le- let's be real, like. In any situation, if somebody made like a reference to riding a cheetah, you'd be all over that. Oh yeah, like if I, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it, it felt like like just super random humor, and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like it's it's a lot of like I I felt like it's very iconic piece. Like Family Guy developed like their skit humor type of thing, where they're like introduce some random element and then make a little skit and then go on with their story. And I felt like 
Family Guy got a lot of influence from this movie or a lot of like sitcoms. Like it's like a time peak from 90s and 2000s humor. Like you watch it and you're like, this is super 90s. This is super 2000s. I can see how this influenced a lot of the stuff. Yeah. And that's what it felt like. Um, I thought some of the humor was good. Like I laughed at a lot of parts and then someone kind of just fell flat for me. So I was like, eh, you know, the humor is like so-so for me, um, even with the random factor. Um, and then it was, I think the best thing that I like it, that it is like a, it's like a time capsule for when this movie was made. Like you have that type of random humor, you have the type of like random stereotypes, you have like the, oh, you know, somebody, there's somebody called shots over here in the cops go over there. And then they, we arrested this guy because he was asleep. It was like, oh, you know, this relates to today too. Um, so there was like a lot of that that kind of like cataloged it all. Um, yeah. Overall, Ricky I don't know fly is driving me crazy. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say yeah, me it's too. Bothering <laughs> you with the dude. Oh my god! I just didn't even, like fly around. <laughs> I I just didn't want to bring it up, but like since you've had like your camera on, I'm like that freaking fly. I hope Ricky kills it, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna kill it later. Whatever. I'm just not gonna pay attention. I'm gonna try to ignore it for now. Anyway, is he like? Um, I just want to chime in on that. Like, uh, yeah, I totally agree. I think that's one of the reasons why I like watching this movie and like very very long spread period. out time long periods of time because you can always like go back and like see the references they made and be like oh yeah i totally forgot about that reference uh like gosh that fly <laughs> um but it's like the same thing like nick mentioned like if you watch like any parody movie um like the scary movie series uh <laughs> it's me versus the fly i don't know who's gonna win uh the fly <laughs> But the, uh, the, in the next Super Sans, it's not Ricky, but it's a, it's a fly that's playing. Yeah, uh, but yeah, like uh, whenever you watch like the scary movies, like it's literally parodies on. Oh my gosh, I almost <laughs> caught it. <laughs> oh my god, uh, what's it called? But yeah, like uh, any anytime you watch a scary movie, like you always see references from like older movies that kids today probably haven't seen and so they probably wouldn't think it's funny but if you go back and watch it like it just kind of like makes you like reminisce a little bit and just kind of laugh at the fact that some of these movies are kind of (laughs) dumb it is a 100 percent kind of like a nostalgia thing it's like yeah Yeah. it has a a lot of nostalgia and it's very like stoner stoner movie like yeah it's, it's like loosely connected let's just put skit after skit after skit and see what jokes like land. Well, it it's like dude where's my car it's kind of like mm-hmm. you trying to get from a to b and it's just like let's just throw a bunch of random stuff in between until they get to finally b even yeah. though it should have this movie should have taken place in like all of like 10 minutes but you know mm-hmm. it ends up being two hours instead yeah so overall i feel like with the nostalgia factor i give this movie like a six out of ten it gets it gets a like a a simmering like a, a hot simmer you know but if i was basing this movie like objectively like if they, i had no idea about this movie and i watch it now i'd be like four and a half out of ten it was like low simmer you know you put it on you put the water boiling and then you like tone it out a little bit um that's probably what i would say so i'm also on the same boat as like ricky and nick i probably wouldn't recommend it to somebody but give it 10 years 15 years when I forget about it, and you're like, okay, yeah, I'll watch this. And then I'm like, hey, once White Castle, and then Nick says no. <laughs> I, I definitely I did it, definitely didn't have like this movie in mind for the longest time. It was like literally right before right before we were we did our Super Sans games this week. I was on Hulu watching a TV show and I was just kind of like browsing through Hulu and I was like, oh look, Harold and Kumar. If I win, I'll pick this movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I wouldn't say it's a bad movie. It's definitely entertaining. Um, it's just like you watch it every every blue moon. Yeah. I definitely think that Nick liked it better than Apocalypto. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I thought this movie was complete trash. Um. <laughs> I I would give it like a three. The maybe the first time I watched it a five. Um. I think this movie's to me is like um that movie the world is gonna end or some shit like that um, um it gets all those Edward famous Wright actors movie? that are funny Edward Wright movie? maybe the i don't know dead. 
actors? Oh, yeah. um, the one with like Seth Rogen. Michael, and, yeah, and Michael Sarah. Yeah, uh, it's George like Franco. that to me. Like to me, maybe the first time it wasn't as much, but I couldn't honestly stay focused in this movie. Like I was getting bored like every other second. Dude, by the movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not my type of humor per se. Like, like, um, like I said, I liked scary movies. Those I like them, but they're just it's just mm-hmm. also stupid humor. I haven't rewatched those bef- in a long time though, so I don't know how they hold up for me. Uh, I but think I think all very much the same. Yeah, so I, I think like for me this was like a three. Maybe back then I would have maybe given it a five. But I also don't really like this type of humor much. Like, um, I don't like. Um, like Hangover and those type of movies, I don't like. He them. doesn't like raunchy stuff, like raunchy humor. Like, <laughs> there was a lot of cringe humor in this. I mean, movie no, too. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just describing it like raunchy is like the category. Like, oh no, 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 like American Pie, that sort of stuff. No, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I don't know, like, <laughs> like, like I don't yeah. like. I can't picture Nick watching any of the like the National Lampoon movies. Okay. Yeah, I, I would, I'm with Nick that raunchy movies aren't my like favorite type of comedy. But I still appreciate nah, yeah. some of the jokes. They just don't always land with me. I'm like raunchy movies like, are more of like, like a one and done. Like mm-hmm. like you watch yeah. it once and like you get like a good laughs and then like you probably hey you almost got it. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking viewers are gonna be like. <laughs> the fuck is this man doing? They're gonna be mind. they're gonna be fly fly fly. <laughs> So Dude, in the comments, go ahead and it. write down. Uh, go ahead and write down. Uh, in the next battle, whether Ricky will win or will the fly win? Dude, I don't know why there's a fly in like my sister's old room. Like, <laughs> there's no food here. The kitchen's Dude, like it, literally on the other side of the house. Like, why? Dude, it moved in, man. It's paying rent. <laughs> it's well, hard work. Uh, but yeah, I just but, i I would watch it if somebody else. Like like we did right now, um, but I would never recommend it to somebody, oh, at least personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. This, I, isn't, this isn't one of the movies I'd probably recommend. It'd be like if it's on TV, watch it, but don't go out of your way to see it. I feel like I would pro I would probably recommend it, but more for the same reason I recommend movies like Machete and stuff like that. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they're not great. I know they're not great, but that's like the point of watching the movies. Yeah. Like, yeah, but Machete is uh, so bad, it's good. This one's just, yes, like, it better. is. Machete like goes from like good to bad, and it like circles back and goes to like bad a few times, and it like finally ends up on like this is kind of decent. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's more like it starts here, goes to bad, and it leaves the stratosphere. In the bed, <laughs> but it's always enjoyable to watch. <laughs> but you're still watching it, and you're like, "Oh, I gotta see what happens next." <laughs> I think, I think, I think if I win, if I if I get my third win, uh, <laughs> that will be. I'd probably choose like a B, a boom, a B movie, and uh, and not not to be confused with the B movie, you know, like you know the B movie, <laughs> the B movie, a uh, a B rated movie, so low oh, budget. Hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Ah, I did not kill it. I did not. You guys haven't that seen one. the. Uh, I saw that one. You guys haven't seen the Tommy. I Wiseau did not. Movie? I did. Uh, yeah. Which oh, movie? That's that's a terrible movie, but it's hilarious. Um, the cap on. Uh, the name of the actual movie was Tommy Wiseau. What was it called? If I if I if I win the next one, I'll probably pick another. Like I'll probably pick like a more musical movie. And anything I mean, cool. can tell you like the out there. there's a musical it's probably going to be negative for room audience sorry <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'm not Nick, music Nick, Nick, there's Nick, only Nick, one movie Nick you can needs, play and I'll like and I think Nick, needs, knows fun. Nick needs Keanu oh. Reeves he needs Bruce Willis he needs uh, any other bald actor um, <laughs> and action. Michael Bay director uh, yeah <laughs> And it needs a lot of explosions. What if uh, every beat of the song, Nick, it's like an explosion? Like, no, like, I I can't. There's only one other one. Like, oh, oh, I like Pitch Perfect. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's like your only musical. (laughs) I wouldn't see, I wouldn't consider Pitch Perfect a musical. 
Well, I would consider <laughs> I would consider that a movie with music in it, but not a musical itself. Yeah. Like it, it's not. I don't think it's designed to be. But there is a lot of singing, and it's definitely like funny. I I literally don't understand how Nick liked that movie. <laughs> that's like that's the most surprising movie. that's like movie. the most surprising fact out of everything i'm like how the fuck did nick like this movie that and it that's not it. surprising i could see nick liking that movie uh anyways uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's all the time we have for now folks we'll catch you on the next one i'm getting ready to pick up the next spicy challenge for next week for next yeah. week and uh, just go ahead and tune in and see who wins who wins out and what movie we review next. Oh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and let us know what you thought of the movie. And how was the fight with the fly? Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> uh, Catch you next bye. week. <laughs> Is he? <laughs>